If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Access can also create lookup fields in a table that look up the values in another table, query, or hand-typed list from which it then draws its values. If the field is looking up data from another table versus a query or list, it automatically creates a join between the two tables, which also appears in the Relationships window. Don't panic if you see these joins automatically appearing in the Relationships window if you open it after creating lookup fields. These types of joins are needed for the lookup field. You can also enforce referential integrity on these joins if needed when you create them. You create lookup fields in the Table Design view when creating your tables. To create a lookup field in an Access table, select the Lookup Wizard field type from the Data Type Columns drop-down while creating or editing the table in the Tables Design view. Doing this then launches the Lookup Wizard to help you create the lookup field. In the Lookup Wizard, select from where you want the lookup field to get its values by selecting the desired option button. The options are either from a table or query, or from a list that you type by hand. After making your selection, then click the Next button to continue. If you selected to type your own values in the previous step, then you need to select the number of columns to show in the lookup field. Then type the information to display into each column below that. When finished, click the Next button to move to the final screen where you can type the name of your field if needed and then click the Finish button to create the lookup field. Alternatively, if you chose to look up information from a table or query in the first step, then you need to select the table or query from which to look up values to use and then click the Next button to continue. To select the fields from the selected table or query to use as the choices for the lookup column's values, click each field to use in the window to the left, and then click the single right pointing arrow button to move them to the right window one at a time. When finished, click the next button to continue. In the next screen, you can optionally select by which field's values to sort the choices in the drop-down field that appears for the lookup field when selecting choices from it in Datasheet view by selecting the desired fields from the numbered drop-downs. The sorting is applied in sequential order from field 1 to field 4. For each choice you make, the adjacent button shows the field's sort order. You can click the sort order button to switch between ascending or descending order. When ready, click the Next button to continue. The Next screen lets you optionally adjust the width of the columns that will appear for the lookup field if desired. To hide the key column, which is recommended if that column is selected, make sure there is a check in the Hide Key Column Recommended checkbox. Then click the Next button to continue. In the final screen, then type a name for your field if needed into the field at the top of the screen. To enforce referential integrity on the join that is created if available, check the Enable Data Integrity checkbox. If checked, you can then cascade deletions or restrict deletions in the table by selecting either the Cascade Delete or Restrict Delete option button. If available, to restrict the choices to values in lists typed by hand, check the Limit to List checkbox. If allowed, to store multiple values for the lookup field, check the Allow Multiple Values checkbox. To finish creating the lookup field, click the Finish button to finish creating the lookup field. If prompted, save the changes to the table before creating the relationship by clicking Yes in the prompt that then appears. To save your changes after creating a lookup field, click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar. After creating the lookup field in the Table Design view, the Data Type column of the lookup field shows the type of data it is looking up. For example, if the values being looked up by the number field are the number data type, then the data type column of the lookup field also changes to number. 
to then use the lookup field switch to the table's datasheet view. When you click into the lookup field, you see a drop down arrow. Click the drop down arrow to see the menu of choices from which you can select, which it looks up from the related table, query, or list. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.